progress against the mosquito-borne infection remains fragile, and West African countries suffering an unprecedented epidemic of Ebola are particularly at risk of seeing a resurgence of malaria. The drop of blood, we put it on a, uh, on a slate. We drop but a London-based tech startup firm claims that its X-Rapid app for smartphones and microscopic could, case um, could significantly which, uh, increase uh, diagnosis uh, rates uh, well, by using the technology inside iPhones and Android devices. This is a mobile microscope, 200 time microscope, with uh, a constant source of light um, attached to an iPhone or an Android device, any of them. And, um, we use the combined power of the smartphone's camera and the smartphone processing power uh, to read a malaria slide like a, micro like a microbiologist a biologist would do, uh, just faster and more efficiently. And therefore, we can diagnose malaria on the spot where it's, uh, where it's needed. And the faster you diagnose, the, fa the faster you can treat it faster you can save lives. Around 20% of malaria cases are said to go undiagnosed, while around 5,000 people die every day. One of the biggest problems in diagnosis is that the disease's symptoms, such as fever, chills and headaches, mimic those found in other more common afflictions like the flu and common viral infections. By using the technology in smartphones, the malaria parasites can easily be found by X-Rapid. So we take a high-definition uh, uh, picture of uh, a sample of blood. We separate the red blood cells from the rest, the white blood cells, the pellets, and we start looking at each of the red blood cells individually through a facial recognition software. We have taught, we have teach the iPhone what to look for. Um, and after a year of teaching, we've reached maximum level. Uh, and at 98% now, he can tell if that cell is infected or not infected. As soon as the data is detected, it is sent to the relevant government's malaria unit, where outbreaks can be monitored as they occur. Deployment of the app begins this month in Tanzania, Benin and Indonesia where the app will be tested throughout January and February, with full commercial deployment planned for the end of March. Maria Galang, CCTV. So here we have um, 